So where are we right now? We are downtown Portland. And who are we about to see DJ here? Uh, DJ Dick Hennessy. Yeah, he's a good DJ. Mm -hmm. I like him. What are your thoughts on the vagina mobile? I love it. I think it's, it's fire. I like vaginas. <laughs> I like cars. <laughs> I like vagina mobiles, man. It's fucking awesome. I mean, I've seen like a car on like 44s like that, but I ain't never seen a vagina mobile. That's awesome. Would you ride around the vagina mobile? I would ride in the vagina mobile. I would ride on the vagina mobile. I would ride in the trunk of the vagina mobile, man. This right here is the infamous vagina wagon right here. We got some sick fucking custom rims on this bitch. If you see this car driving by, you gotta honk at it. You have to. Who drives the vagina mobile? That would be DJ Dick Hennessy. My name is DJ Dick Hennessy. I am uh, the strip club aficionado of Portland. Right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to X Exotic Labs. This is Classic Soul Sunday with your host, the main man, DJ Dick Hennessy. Remember to that bartender, make yourself at home, remember if you're not tipping, gotta be true. Uh, this car behind us is my pride and joy, the Vagina Beauty Pageant official car, which is the Vagina Mobile. It's uh, my marketing apparatus for the competition. And what is the Vagina Beauty Pageant? Vagina Beauty Pageant is the crown jewel of all my strip club events that I do. It's essentially exactly what it sounds like. It's a competition where girls are graded on three categories, 20% physical beauty, 20% talent, and 60% vagina beauty. Never heard it before. Yeah, I've seen the car before, though. Okay. What would you think a vagina pageant entails? Lots of vagina. Uh, I would think it's more like a display case of the most beautiful and exotic and strange vaginas that you've ever seen. That's what I am. Are you familiar with the vagina pageant? Um, I did one, yeah. Actually, the vagina pageant specifically. I did a qualifier. And <laughs> How was your performance? <laughs> well, we won't talk about that. <laughs> now, what is uh, Hennessy's best pageant? Um, my personal favorite would be the best breasts of the West. We get some gorgeous boobs in there. And... I also really, really do like the Miss Exotic. It's like super competitive. The uh, themes are really like people take that shit very seriously. What do you know about the vagina pageant? I know that it's a strenuous test for the people, that, the girls that are in it, that there's different uh, levels or different stages, whatever it is, that they have to move on. Uh, and it's quite strenuous for the dancers, but who, whoever wins, wins good. What would you recommend to an aspiring vagina beauty pageantry person? Uh, I'd recommend just to get creative, have fun, and just have a good time with it. Are, are either of you familiar with uh, vagina pageant? I am. Somewhat. <laughs> just because she kind of knows about it. Okay. Uh, is that something you'd be interested in? No. Um, uh, I like to attend I'll, it. <laughs> I don't think I qualify, bro. <laughs> <laughs> How did you come to be DJ Dick Hennessy? Uh, so a long time ago, um, I was kind of looking for work. I uh, had uh, some ends in the adult industry, in the strip club industry, and I uh, had a, a job opening to get a DJ position. I kind of wanted a good name to market myself with, and uh, DJ Dick Hennessy, uh, me and my other friend who's in the music industry, we were joking around previously before then about that be kind of a funny rapper name, you know? Yeah. Because the creator of Hennessy's name is Richard Hennessy. I did actually bring you some Hennessy. Oh, <laughs> I, do drink, I do enjoy fun. I've, I've got one for me, too, if you want to crush it on camera with yeah, me. Yeah, I would love to. Man. So beautiful vaginas. Absolutely. Do you have any advice for aspiring DJs or event promoters? Absolutely. Uh, my advice would be just uh, listen to your heart, your gut, um, and just no matter what anyone says, just do what you want because no matter what happens, you won't have any regrets because you you followed your heart and you followed your soul. Uh, another one, the most critical piece of advice I can give to any aspiring strip club or regular DJ or promoter is as hard as you think you have to work, work 10 times harder because that's the only way that something good is going to come of it. And no one and no one can take that from you. You know, you can't. No one could. If you have that just impeccable, disgusting work ethic, then it's always going to be there to stay at the end.